I've been waiting all day for Sunday night. For the second year in a row, Vegas going to Denver for Sunday night football. Last year, it was the opener. And this year, Jake Delhomme, Niner fan, is out for this one. And it's going to be David Garrard starting, but we got to look out. We have seen him do damage against us before. He had a nice career starting with the Jaguars, if I'm not mistaken. John Thornton looking slick in the road jerseys. And Deuce McAllister also looking good in the Bronco throwbacks. Although the bull, orange bull with the blue horns. I don't know about that logo. All right. Pass batted down by Asante Samuel. Brings up third down and nine. And it falls incomplete. Three and out. Go the crush. Michael Vick eludes the sack and then throws it right at a Denver player. Third down and seven, the play action. Wide open field is quickly closed up and Vegas goes three and out on their opening possession. Play action on second and nine, finds Dante Stallworth and he's still going. 20, 10, five, touchdown, crush. Denver right away on their second possession. They're fired up in the mile high. And here comes the rookie Lance Moore on the kick return, finding the blocks. And he's up past midfield, knocked out of bounds at about the 46 yard line. Second down and eight for the Vegas offense and Vic is sacked right away. Brings up third down and 18 and uh, not gonna run wide open field. Instead, throw it up and Roy Williams Knocks it away and another three and out for the Vegas offense. Nice run here for Deuce McAllister. Those are few and far between. Third and three and he's going to get just enough for the first down. Going to McAllister again. Grinding out some runs. Those are rare in this game. Antonio Gates gets hurt but he would return in just a few plays later. McAllister again on the carry. He's going to get it up past the 36 yard line. McAllister once again eluding tacklers and across midfield. I spoke too soon. He's running like crazy. Second down and 11. This one is off the back of the head and brings up third down and 11. Gerard floats this to the outside. Caught by Tyrone Calico. Able to spin away and get Denver down inside the Vegas 30 yard line. Caught by Calico again. Hops out of bounds. And the crush have something going inside the 15. This one caught by McAllister, flag on the play, holding back him up to the 22 yard line. And after one quarter of play, it is seven, nothing, Denver crush. First down and 19. Outside to Dante Stallworth, 11 yards on that play. Second down and eight, that pass falls incomplete. Third down and eight, Gerard over the middle and it has knocked away Jeff Ulbrich with the big hit. Forcing the incompletion. Short field goal for Jay Feely is good. 10-0 Denver here early in the second quarter. Can the Vegas offense get something going? Over the middle to Anquan Bolden. Takes a big hit and able to hang on. Good for seven yards. F uh, feels the rush and here we go. Wide open field. Michael Vick into Denver territory. First down show. All right, coming after him again. This time we can't run. There's a defender there. They should always have one against us there. One of these days the computer will learn. Second down and 10. Finds the rookie Lance Moore at the 43rd down and one. Play action and stop. Pop find the tight end Jeremy Shockey wide open. I love that goal line play with the play action. The defense has to bring in on the slower players. And it works out to our favor more times than not. We have a 98-yard touchdown run on one of those. Play action, that's nearly intercepted. Not good there. Third down and 10, quickly out to James McKnight. And he stopped at the one yard line, first and goal. Vic runs to the outside, stop, pop, find Jeremy Shockey, touchdown show. With 416 in the second quarter, it is 10 to seven. McAllister, nowhere to go on that one. Hello, Newman. Third down and nine, caught by Dante Stallworth and Denver in business here. Second down and 10, nowhere to go for McAllister. It's Aaron Schobel. Thanks, Prince of Darkness, for the pronunciation tip. And that's, that's the second pronunciation tip I've used in this uh, game. 
Fourth down, here's first down. Lance Moore gets us up to midfield. The rookie making an immediate impact this season. Reggie Wayne over the middle. And Vegas on the move here with a minute 35 on the clock. Over the middle to the rookie Lance Moore again. Inside the 15 guy at the game winning touchdown last week against Boston. And Quan Bolden blown up. Pass falls incomplete. Second down and 10. Vic. Plenty of time, and look at all that open field. Defender makes a bad decision. Touchdown show. Those legs are going to run through this league like crazy. Just stands there after the touchdown because he was expecting it all the way. Can Denver do something here with less than a minute? They call the timeout. And over the middle to Tyrone Calico. Crush at midfield. Call their second timeout with 53 seconds on the clock. That pass falls incomplete. Second down and 10, 50 seconds to go. Garrard over the middle. That falls incomplete. Third down and 10, quickly out to Calico. And that's going to go down for a loss. Let's call a timeout and force him to punt. Actually, let's see what we can do here with, well, we're at, what, the 15-yard line caught out of bounds. 34 seconds to go. Vic going to scramble and take it upfield and dive. Boy, that looks like it hurts. Falls down at the 30-yard line. Okay, quickly out to the rookie Lance Moore. Up past the 45-yard line. 24 seconds on the clock. Wide open field to the left. Well, okay, going to give me 8 yards. We're up to 19 seconds. Second in inches. Vic, oh my goodness, spins right into a sack. We go no huddle. Clock ticking away. 5 seconds, 4, 3, run into the right. Defenders closing in and then it runs out of bounds. A lot of indecisiveness on that play. 14 to 10, Vegas with the halftime lead and the ball to start the second half. Finds Jeremy Shockey for a first down pass. Second and 10, almost intercepted. A lot of almost, but haven't gotten one yet. Third down and 10, throwing into a bunch of orange jerseys, and it is knocked away. Oh, big time stick from Matt Chatham on special teams. And then McAllister gets rocked by Sammy Davis. Second and 11, looking for Antonio Gates. That falls incomplete. Third and 11, floats this one out, and it's nearly intercepted by Ed Reed. Punt the ball back to Vegas. Play action. Uh, Vic backpedaling and oh my goodness <laughs> throws back into the middle of the field and it's because I push X before I push L2 to turn off the passing icons and it is just getting really really clumsy here let's get it straightened out here figure out what we're gonna do that pass nearly intercepted a lot of drops by the defense on both teams another one god right into Jeff Ulbricht's uh, tits and he can't make the catch Gates makes the catch on third and long, and it's first down at Denver. Gerard over the middle, and God, Dante Stallworth drops it. No one can catch the ball. They <laughs> right in the bread basket. Third down and 10, floats this one out, and is caught by the rookie from UCLA, Craig Bragg. McAllister up the gut, finds some running room. First down and 10, Denver gets this one out quickly to Tyrone Calico. And now the crush down to the 20-yard line. Pitch back out to McAllister. He's got some running room. Gets him down inside the 15. Second and three with two minutes to go in the third quarter. That pass batted out of the way. Hello, Newman. Third down, play action. Caught! Intercepted! Keith Newman! And he's got room to run! Nobody can catch him! The 30! The 20! 10, 5, hello, Newman. Touchdown show. 84-yard pick, 6 from the linebacker. And it's 21 to 10, Vegas. Big hit by Ed Reed on Deuce McAllister. On oh, Jeff Ulbrich. Wipes out McAllister. Punt the ball back to the show. Vic. Finds Anquan Bolden, able to turn the corner, and he's going upfield, knocked down at the Denver 41-yard line. Ends the third quarter, 21-10. Vegas looking good here for the most part, at least score-wise. Offense having a tough time going here. That falls incomplete. Rudy Johnson can't make the catch. Third down and 12, stop, pop, and it's out of bounds 
Offense having a tough go at it. Sebastian Janikowski from 60 yards out. We're in the mile high. And it's no good. Didn't even get enough on it. 94 power. It had to be 100. I still don't think you get it. All right. Denver. Great field position after the missed field goal. Dante Stallworth. Deuce McAllister making some plays. A second down and five. Less than six minutes to go. And that's over the middle to Antonio Gates. Caught at the 16-yard line. This play first and 10. Floats it out to McAllister. That's going to be a loss. Second down and 12. Gerard outside. Caught! Antonio Gates at the two-yard line. It's first and goal. A handoff to McAllister. Tons of traffic there. He can't get anywhere. Second and goal. Again, met Julian Peterson and knocks him down. His third and goal. McAllister wide open hole. Touchdown, Denver Crush. And this is back to a one-score game like the cinematic replays here. Look at the shine on the helmets. Nice job for a game in 2005. Two-point conversion attempt. Gerard could have run for it, and instead he throws an interception. Ed Reed with the pick. Vic, all right, enough of this bull crap. Start running it. There we go. Big time run on first down. First and 10, Vic runs to the other side. Crush defense going to close in, though, and we throw across the middle. We're trying to sprint. You got to turn off the L2 to get the passing icons turned off. Wide open field, crosses midfield, and the nasty looking dive at the 44 yard line because we do not know how to slide. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. The seven yard carry for Rudy Johnson. Second and three, Vic. He's running to the other side. At some point, the defenses of the computer got to figure this thing out. I keep turning the awareness up on the sliders. Hopefully, that'll help. And Vic again, and this time takes a nasty hit. Crush call a timeout, third and inches. We go uh, goal line, quarterback sneak, and we get it. 107 on the clock. Thought we had Lance Moore wide open, and the pass falls incomplete. Scrambling to the left, and gonna take the sack so we can make him force to call their final timeout with 101 to go, third and 16. We take a knee. And then run the clock down to 21 seconds. Janikowski from 40 yards out is going to make this an eight-point lead. 13 seconds on the clock. Don't let him get behind you. I don't know what good that would have been if they caught it because they have no timeouts. Less than 10 seconds, and they go over the middle to Dante Stallworth. That's going to do it. Your clock's just going to keep ticking. And Vegas gets the win. 24 to 16 to go 2 and 0 for the first time. In franchise history, of course, this is only year two, and last year after two games, we went one and one. Big time win over the defending AFC West champions. We'll see these guys again later on in the year. Zero turnovers for the Las Vegas show. Three of 10 on third down. It wasn't a great day offensively. Vic, as usual, under 50% completion percentage. Of course, we do the damage. With the legs, Gerard under 50% completion percentage, only 16 of 33. Deuce McAllister, 24 attempts, 2.6 yards per carry. Michael Vick, 98 yards rushing on 12 attempts and a touchdown run. Jeremy Shockey, the only touchdown catch of the game. Dante Stallworth goes off, six catches for 147 yards, the big touchdown, but none bigger than Keith Newman's 84 yard pick. Six. He also had two TFLs. Rematch of the Super Bowl. Brady beats the Pirates again, this time 27 to 20. Bruce Dunham, the former Dave Show quarterback, struggling in Carolina. Big day for Taiwan Joseph. The Dallas Force are 2 0. Danny V, not much as the Chicago Mob get blown out by Minnesota. Ravagers 0 2, starting the rookie Andrew Walter. Brett Favre continues to be injured. And the rookie David Green for San Diego has got the fleet to 2-0. They beat the Admirals, who we will see next week in Vegas. Not sure New York would embrace a football team with blue stars in their logo. It's a swing and a miss by me there. But that's who we got coming up next. Let me know your thoughts on this game down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next show.